What is going on everybody, Beast HD here and today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial here in Photoshop CS6 and I'm going to be showing you how to make a YouTube overlay or a YouTube video banner just like this one here. So you have a little box here in case you want to do picture in picture, put a webcam in and you also have another box here that you can have any sort of text you want in. I just put my YouTube username in but you can have like, comment, subscribe or something like that. Just a little something to add on to your YouTube videos and make them a little bit more interesting. So um, if you do not have Photoshop, I will leave a link in the description as to where you can get the trial version. It is completely harmless to your computer and it uh, doesn't take too long to download or anything like that. So yeah, check out the description for that. So uh, we'll just get straight into it here now. So to start this, you go to File, New. And you want your width to be 1280 pixels, your height to be 720 pixels, resolution 72 pixels per centimeter, color mode RGB, color 8-bit, and then make sure this is a transparent background. So just click the drop down menu and select transparent and then click OK. And you get a nice YouTube, um, you get a template here that is a perfect size for a YouTube video. So to start this and put in your little box, you want to go down here to where it says rectangle. Uh, rectangle tool, it is just above the hand, click that. To make your rectangle, left click on your mouse and just drag out whatever size you want. I'm going to make it about there, that should be enough um, <clears throat> to put whatever video you want to put into it. So yeah, then you get this little black box, but we kind of want this to be transparent. So to do this, you come over to where it says stroke and come over to this box here. It's a white box with a red little line in it. Click that down and then come over here to the gradient. It is the third one in and uh, just select the gradient. And then to change the color, whatever you want, just double, uh, double click on the little boxes there. I'm going to make it pink. Just select that. And if you want to have a proper gradient, then select a different color like so and then as you can see it is <clears throat> now a different color Um, just X that it's now a different color it's a darker pink up the top than it is down the bottom so it's a bit of a gradient and it looks nice and I'm gonna make this a bit thicker so to where it says stroke three point I'm gonna change it to five point and it gets a little bit thicker so uh, to get rid of the black background because we want it to be transparent just click where it says fill it'll have a black box just click that down once again go to the white box with the red little line on it and just click that and then you get a nice little transparent box <coughs> excuse me so now move it down to where it says layer it'll probably say shape one just double click on shape one until this pop uh, this pops up click on bevel and emboss and then contour and you can see it is changing it here it's making it look a little bit better and uh, you can play around with all these settings here, you can click whatever you want, but I'm just going to click Bevel and Emboss, Contour and Stroke, and then click OK. So now you have a box that looks like that, it looks pretty nice. And uh, yeah, you can stick whatever video you want in there, say if you have a webcam, you want to put a webcam in over gameplay or something like that, you can stick it in this little box, it looks pretty cool. And now we are just going to move on and make our other box here that you can put your text in. So to do that, once again, go to the Rectangle tool, click the Rectangle tool left click on your mouse and drag out whatever size you would like it to be and then there we go once again we get this little box thing here and then uh, once again double click on the shape 2 and then um, bevel and emboss and then click contour and don't do anything else just leave it at that and click ok so for the fill here we are going to do gradient once again just click on gradient and then it gives you different options here you want to select the second option that says um, foreground to transparent, select that and then yeah it kind of it is still transparent but there is color in it so it does look a bit cool when you put it on YouTube videos and um, you have a bit of a color at the top and um, it doesn't take away too much from the YouTube video which is good because we don't really want people to be looking at this background more than the video because uh, you know your video is the main thing you want people to be focusing on. So to put text in then move down to this T, it's your text tool, just click that, left click and drag out to get your box and then type in whatever you would like to type in. I'm just going to type in Beast HD in my YouTube username. Uh, you can type in whatever you want, say if you wanted to say like, comment, subscribe or if you want to say you can have previous video here and next video here and then just using YouTube annotations you can link them. So you can do a lot with this, I'm just showing you guys a quick tutorial on how to do it, but you can play around and do a lot more than I'm going to be doing in this tutorial. So then move up to your move tool, it is the very first tool, the little arrow, and then drag this up to wherever you want it. I'm just going to have it there. <coughs> 
and uh, that looks pretty nice but I am just going to put this into 3D text to add something more and to do that just go to type and click extrude to 3D and I'm going to be doing this quite quick but if you would like to uh, see more of how to do 3D text then look at my last tutorial it is a tutorial on how to do a 3D YouTube background and that goes a lot more into background in, or into uh, detail on how to use 3D backgrounds and texts so um, yeah that's basically it I'm just going to change this to Mardi Gras I think that looks best and uh, there we go so that is our YouTube background you can do a lot more with this like I said I'm just showing you guys real quick it's really easy to do and uh, it does add quite a bit to your videos so um, yeah if you enjoyed and you want to see more tutorials then please feel free to subscribe and leave a like and all that good stuff so then finally we want to save this as a PNG file which means there is no background the background is just transparent and so your YouTube video will play while this is overlaid on it <clears throat> And to do that, just go up to File and then click Save As. Then name it whatever you want, save it to wherever you want. But as long as you save it as a PNG, it says just PNG here. It's under Pixar and a Portable Bitmap. So just click PNG and then click Save. And that is all you want to do. Um, yeah, so that is basically it. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next video. Bye.